welcome to my channel today i'm going to take you guys with me um we're gonna take basil to the vet she's actually healthy there's no issues it's just an annual visit this was actually supposed to happen a couple months ago typically i suggest everyone to take their birds right away but you guys already know because of the pandemic um and me going to school um it, it was just kind of hectic so yeah my house is under construction again i don't know some people who have been following me for a long time literally every couple of months something's happening at my home so we're at construction again but you know what could you do i really didn't want to cancel my appointment so we're gonna go i'm hoping everything's fine i know some people are gonna ask me where i got my carrier this is kind of what it looks like so it's very nice it's um you know there's like hole so your bird could uh, breathe and then there's that hook over there you can hang a toy or and stuff and then i really like the handle and then you know you could open it um it does come with a cover i'm uh i've um lost my cover oopsies um I, I, it's probably downstairs i don't really know where i put it this is what i love about this carrier if you can tell the stainless steel it's like in the shape of a bird it's so cute i think that's very adorable anyway i'm gonna take you guys with me i am ubering and it is gonna be curbside so i won't be actually uh be going inside the clinic um but i will still give you guys an update on how she did with the visit so at her vet visit they're just gonna do a general checkup check the eyes the beak um her nails and then her wings um she is an english budgie so I will kind of talk about her breathing issues. I did notice a few stuff, so I'm going to mention that. I'll talk about it a bit more when I come back. Um, the other thing is her weight. Like They'll probably tell me how much she weighs and stuff. But yeah, hopefully uh, I'll get more answers. I'll take you guys with me and let's head on out. the wrong address so the place i'm supposed to be is at 41 the links road but when i was ubering i put 41 links road so now i'm at a completely different place and oh uh, i had to call them and luckily they were nice enough but i am gonna be half an hour late this is kind of embarrassing i'm sorry but you're still going to the vet <laughs> anyway this is kind of embarrassing we're back from the vet i actually ended up going to the wrong address i was supposed to be there at 6 but i went there at 6 30 i did let them know unfortunately on my uber app i put um links road but it's supposed to be the links road um so yeah and i let them know it was kind of embarrassing because it's not like my first time being there but it's such it's like such a simple mistake but i made that mistake and it was kind of embarrassing so i was late but luckily they still said hey you know still come on in um so that was really nice of them to do that because it wasn't like i'm gonna be late five minutes it's like 30 minutes so it was really nice that they actually allowed me to still make it to our appointment um completely my stupid mistake um basil did see dr noor so this was just supposed to be a very basic annual checkup this is basil's also first time like i mentioned going to the vet um so i did explain a few of the concerns i have one of that was that basil makes this clicking noise when she breathes and dr noor did say that she was noticing it too when you know it wasn't like she was holding basil for too long by the way this is curbside so i didn't see what was happening in but she said that when she was holding basil she also noticed that sort of clicking noise we did have um, a, a conversation regarding that. We do think it might be because she's an English budgie. It might be related to her heart 
again if you guys didn't know edward has a heart arrhythmia so it could be a situation of something mixed with her heart but we also think it might be because of her thyroid issues so we do have an iodine supplement i will show you guys a clip of what it looks like it's very simple and you know basil sharing cages what muffin and it really shouldn't matter um the iodine supplement is safe for other birds as well so um i'm just gonna add one drop to their water um other than that i did get her um leg band removed um now some people prefer the leg band some people don't and then some people it is the law to have it in my case i don't see the purpose of it it's not legally necessary in canada at least in toronto um also it's very specific to the breeder so whoever bred basil it's very specific to the breeder so the color is not really gonna matter to me like it's not because i know in some places the color would be let's say it's a color green color green would be or like the shade of green would mean like this bird was born in 2016 but like that's again very specific to the breeder so to me there was really no purpose to have some random numbers on my bird's leg um again some people are worried if my bird flies away that leg band can help but like i'm hoping that does not ever ever happen so we're not gonna think about that and so i wanted it removed i don't really see the purpose i also think that there could be potential dangers with it like imagine some kind of very small thread or something gets stuck there it's just i don't want to deal with it i've heard horror stories so i got that removed the other thing is when i was talking to dr noor by the way she's phenomenal honestly i love the staff but yeah, they're like phenomenal. Great vet techs, great vet assistances, great vets. Receptionist is phenomenal. Like they have a very good staff and I've never had any complaints. Um, but I did have Dr. Noor this time with Basil and she, like I said, she's phenomenal. Um, but I did mention how I wanted with the annual checkup, I also wanted a full blood work. So I think they did a couple of stuff. I'll have it, uh, you know, listed what she had done, but she did get a blood work done. She also had a fecal done. So I'm expecting to hear from them. Dr. Noor said that she'll probably phone me in like seven to 10 days um, to see what her results are. I'm not expecting any seem crazy but the reason why i wanted to get this done is because i want a baseline now god forbid something happens to my birds but in the case if it does at least they know what basil normals are that's the main reason why i wanted to get it done unfortunately my other birds even though i have been to the vets many times i haven't had them get it done so like whenever i take one of them i'm gonna get that done um but yeah it's it was honestly very stressful for Basil, I think, because as you can see, she also seems a bit tired. So I want to keep it kind of short, but yeah, like with the blood work, removing the leg band, everything involved, I think she's a bit tired. But before I end the video, I do, again, want to talk about how great my vets are. Honestly, Dr. Noor, Dr. Yi, Dr. I, imagine I missed their name, but like Dr. Allen, Dr. Rick, like I'm, I think there's like two new ones. I hope I don't get that wrong because I feel like they're going to judge me at this point. Anyway, great vet text. I think one of her name, like one of them I know, I think her name was Olga, but I could be wrong. But again, overall, great vet text, great receptionist, great team. I'll have a link down below to their socials and their website. So if anyone is in the Toronto area and they want to go to an exotic vet or an avian vet, honestly, I would suggest them. And as you can see, Basil is very tired. So I think this is a good time to say see you guys until next time. Have a nice day guys. Bye bye.